Today, we're counting down the 10 worst foods as per science. And number one is shocking because it's something people proudly eat every single day, often thinking it's healthy. Let's start. Number 10, flavored yogurts and sweetened dairy products. At first glance, flavored yogurts look like a smart choice. They're cold, creamy, marketed with words like probiotic, calcium rich, and gut friendly. But once you look past the label, most flavored yogurts behave more like dessert than health food. The problem isn't dairy itself, it's what's been done to it. Number nine, refined breakfast pastries and packaged baked goods. Muffins, croissants, toaster pastries, and packaged cakes are often treated as normal breakfast foods, but metabolically, they behave like dessert. These foods are built on refined flour, industrial oils, and sugar, which means they digest extremely fast and provide almost no lasting satiety. The refined grains have been stripped of fiber, minerals, and natural fats, leaving behind starch that rapidly converts to glucose. The oils used are typically seed oils that oxidize easily during baking, creating inflammatory byproducts. Add sugar, sometimes multiple forms in the same product, and you get a perfect storm for blood sugar spikes, followed by crashes that increase hunger and cravings later in the day. Because these foods are eaten in the morning, they often set the metabolic tone for the entire day. Starting the day with insulin spikes makes it harder to regulate appetite, energy, and focus, which is why they land higher on the danger list than most people expect. Number eight, protein bars and health snack bars. Protein bars are marketed as fitness food, weight loss tools, or meal replacements. In reality, many are just candy bars with protein powder added. The protein itself is often highly processed, sourced from soy isolates or low-quality dairy fractions, while the rest of the bar is filled with syrups, sugar alcohols, artificial flavors, and binding agents. While protein can slow digestion slightly, it doesn't neutralize the metabolic damage caused by high sugar content. Some bars contain multiple sweeteners in smaller amounts to avoid listing sugar as the first ingredient creating the illusion of balance while still driving insulin release. What makes these especially dangerous is the psychological effect. People eat them daily believing they're making a disciplined choice. That repeated exposure reinforces ultra-processed food dependency while blocking real, whole food habits from forming. Number seven, artificially sweetened beverages. Diet sodas and zero-calorie drinks don't contain sugar, but that doesn't make them metabolically harmless. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, and acesulfame potassium stimulate sweet taste receptors without delivering calories, which confuses appetite regulation and insulin signaling. Studies show that artificial sweeteners can alter gut bacteria, increase glucose intolerance, and maintain sugar cravings even in the absence of calories. They also condition the brain to expect sweetness constantly, making whole foods taste dull by comparison. While these drinks don't spike blood sugar directly like sugar-sweetened beverages, their long-term effects on metabolism, gut health, and appetite control earn them a firm place in the middle of the danger list. Number six, low-fat and fat-free packaged foods. When food manufacturers remove fat, they don't remove calories, they replace them. Fat gives food texture, flavor, and satiety. Once it's removed, something else must take its place. Usually, sugar, starches, gums, emulsifiers, and artificial flavor systems. Low-fat salad dressings, spreads, cheeses, and desserts often contain long ingredient lists that barely resemble food. These additives may not cause immediate harm, but over time they increase inflammatory load, disrupt digestion, and reduce nutrient absorption. The real issue isn't fat, it's processing. Foods that are naturally low in fat are fine. Foods that were once rich in fat and then chemically altered to remove it are a warning sign. And that's why this category climbs higher on the list. Number five, 
Industrial seed oils. Seed oils like soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, and canola oil are everywhere, in restaurants, packaged foods, and home kitchens. These oils are extracted using high heat, pressure, and chemical solvents, then deodorized to remove rancid smells caused by oxidation. They are extremely high in omega-6 fatty acids, which are essential in small amounts, but inflammatory in excess. Modern diets often contain omega-6 to omega-3 ratios as high as 20 to 1, far beyond what the human body evolved to handle. Oxidized fats contribute to chronic inflammation, insulin resistance, and cardiovascular stress. Because these oils are so common, they quietly accumulate damage over years, earning their place in the top half of the list. Number 4. Margarine and Hydrogenated Spreads Margarine was marketed as a heart-healthy alternative to butter, but it represents one of the most aggressive forms of food manipulation. Liquid oils are chemically hydrogenated to make them solid, altering their molecular structure into trans fats. Even when labels claim zero trans fat, small amounts can still be present due to labeling loopholes. Trans fats interfere with cell membranes, disrupt cholesterol balance, and are strongly associated with heart disease. This is food that does not exist in nature and has no biological role in the human body, which pushes it closer to the most dangerous end of the list. Number 3. Fruit Juice Whole fruit contains fiber that slows sugar absorption. Fruit juice removes that protection. Drinking juice allows the sugar from multiple fruits to hit the bloodstream in minutes, triggering insulin spikes similar to soda. Fructose from juice is processed primarily by the liver, promoting fat accumulation and increasing the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease when consumed regularly. Juice also lacks the chewing and satiety signals that whole fruit provides, making overconsumption easy. Because juice is perceived as natural and healthy, it's often consumed daily, especially by children, which is why it ranks this high. Number 2. Sugary Drinks and Sweetened Beverages Sodas, sweet teas, energy drinks, flavored coffees, and sports drinks are liquid sugar. They bypass normal satiety mechanisms and deliver large glucose loads without fullness. Regular consumption is strongly linked to obesity, diabetes, fatty liver disease, and cardiovascular risk. Because liquids digest so fast, the metabolic damage accumulates quickly making this category one of the most dangerous staples in modern diets. Number 1. Refined Grains and Ultra-Processed White Flour Products White bread, refined pasta, crackers, and baked goods sit at the top because they are eaten daily, often multiple times a day. Modern wheat has been bred for yield and baking properties, not nutrition. The refining process strips away fiber, vitamins, and minerals, leaving pure starch. These foods spike blood sugar, fuel insulin resistance, promote inflammation, and crowd out nutrient-dense options. Their cultural acceptance and convenience make them the most dangerous, not because they kill fast, but because they slowly erode health over decades while feeling completely normal. These foods don't harm you overnight, they do it quietly, meal by meal. Awareness is the first step toward better choices. If this list surprised you, share your thoughts below and let me know which one you'll rethink first. What makes these foods especially dangerous isn't that they exist, it's that they've been normalized. They're cheap, convenient, heavily advertised, and engineered to feel familiar. Over time, that familiarity removes urgency. When something doesn't hurt immediately, the brain files it under safe, even when science says otherwise. That's how slow damage works. It hides inside routine. If this breakdown helped you see everyday foods differently, tap like so more people hear it. And tell me in the comments, which one shocked you the most or which one do you still struggle to give up?